Hey guys, my name is Shane Bukhari. Welcome to another video. So today I'm going to talk to you about my morning routine or how I use my morning routine to have a more effective day. So if you feel like uh, out of control, if you feel like imbalanced, if you feel you know you just don't have enough time during the day to do what you want to do, or you just feel lost overall, you know this is the video to watch. I'm going to show you what I do to overcome all of that. I was feeling the same many years ago. You know, I was being reactive to my day. So as soon as I woke up, I, I was scrolling through social media, not really having no structure in my day. As soon as I came across, um, you know, I was a lot into personal development in my early 20s. I was actually reading a lot about successful people of what they do to really uh, become pro more proactive and really have more structure on their day. So I kind of did a lot of reading, a lot of research, watched a lot of video of what I could do. It was such a consistent thing that all the successful people had a morning routine that allowed them to be in control of their day. So I started looking a lot into it then uh, over the years I, I started implementing it then I've been doing it for the past seven years of my life now and over the years I've really perfected it, I've improved it through, you know, I went to a lot of, you know, seminars, I did a lot of book reading, I watched a lot of YouTube videos of how I can sort of perfect my morning routine on a consistent basis. So today I'm going to give you uh, a really detailed breakdown of what I do in my morning to really allow me to have more control in my day, to have more structure in my day and to really be more proactive and do things that I want to do, not being reactive to the world around of us. So actually my morning my morning routine starts the night before. This is where I set my goals for the coming day. So what I have is I have a weekly goal. So I reflect on my weekly goal and see what do I need to accomplish tomorrow for me to get closer to what I want to achieve in a week. So essentially I sit down, uh, I, break, I write down exactly what I want to achieve and I will go through through how I set my goals in another video because it's very detailed and if I do talk about this in the video it will take a long time so I want to do it in, in another video so I'll actually show you how I set my goals and how I categorize my goals um, and how I you know implement it throughout my days so yeah the first thing is I, I set my, my my daily goals the night before uh, the reason why I do it the night before is it's just very powerful it allows your when you go to sleep it allows your mind to process your goals and basically when your mind processes it it is far more effective because your mind is basically working for you now and you're sleeping on it and you, you come up with solutions let's say you wrote down like oh i want to um for example i want to you want to you want to solve a problem so you basically write this down setting the intentions the night before and when you're sleeping over it, your mind is still working for you. So you, this is very powerful where, you know, setting the goals the night before will allow your mind to work for you to really come up with solutions. That's why a lot of, you know, uh, entrepreneurs, a lot of like inventors, they come up with ideas when they're sleeping. This is where their mind are working you know, the best. So I highly suggest you to, you know, set your goals the night before, your daily goals the night before. And the second thing is, when I first thing I wake up in the morning is obviously have a shower, brush my teeth and stuff. Uh, then I, I will do my meditation. So I've been meditating for the past seven years of my life consistently. So I do it every morning and before I go to bed. And the reason meditation is so important is because uh, it allows you to, to calm your mind. It allows you to clarify your thoughts. And so the way I meditate is obviously I go in my office. Um, I sit down somewhere where there's no distraction. Uh, guys, also I want to point out is Throughout my whole morning, I won't use my phone. There's no social media. I'll have my phone on silent mode or airplane mode. Uh, I don't want no distraction. I want to be proactive. So go back to meditation is sit down. I put my headphones on. I put uh, like binaural beats or something like that. So it allows me to really calm my mind and to focus my breathing until I feel like a sense of numbness in my body. So as soon as I feel that, um, I start basically visualizing my uh, my future, how I want my future to be like five years, three years down the line, one year down the line, but I start visualizing my day, how it's going to be like. So when you visualize your day, you kind of tell, you, you kind of put an intention again on how you want a day to be like. Um, and again, this is you being in control of your day, you setting uh, the record like I want this to happen. I want you know this. I want to meet these sort of people. I want to solve these sort of solution. And your your mind will basically again work toward towards that. You know, um, so I, I I start my day with you know my morning meditation. I do this you know religiously for the past seven years. There's no question mark about that. The very second thing that I do is I set three things that I'm grateful for. I write out three things that I'm grateful for right now. So the reason why I do this is because we want to achieve things in life and a lot of us are not probably where we want to be. So we'll feel a bit, sometimes we feel like, 
we're not enough, we're not, we don't have enough in life and uh, we tend to compare ourselves with other people which I've been, uh, I was actually guilty of doing and sometimes I still do that so being grateful for uh, being grateful for what you have right now allows you to really uh, appreciate what you have in life and really think that you know yeah I want to be there but what I have right now is always amazing and you doing this your day will be so much more better it allows you to come across more positive when speaking to people being grateful allows you to appreciate your current current position your current you know life situation even though you're going through difficulty you still have something to be grateful for have, you can still be grateful for having a family that supports you or you can be grateful for being in a country that allows you with a bunch of opportunities so there's there's a lot of things that you can be grateful for and really doing this in the morning will set your day for you to have like a very productive and amazing day the next thing is i set my my target for the day so obviously i'll set my goal the night before there'll be a list of things that i want to accomplish but i set the three top things that today if i accomplish that i'll still be happy so again sometimes what happens is we set ourselves so much to do but we feel that quantity is better than quality so what i do is i set my three top goals that i want to accomplish today then as soon as i accomplish that you know even though I haven't done the rest, it will still be you know, an, a productive and successful day. So I'll do that. So the next thing I'll do is I'll sit down and read half an hour of a book that I'm reading. I tend to read mostly about entrepreneurial books, uh, books that are mindset, personal development, things like that. So I'll spend half an hour to really uh, get information, get some perspectives from the author and really um, allow me to reflect on my perspective and allow me to grow again and better myself. So I spent half an hour doing some book reading and then after that I will spend an hour doing some research and do some knowledge or uh, reading on things that are uh, things in my industry. So for example right now I'm actually looking to get more into real estate and really expand my knowledge into that. So I have a monthly magazine subscription so I will spend about an hour to 45 minutes just read up on that just to get a bit of an idea what's happening and then I'll probably do some research online as well as I'm reading through it just to really I feel like a sense of growth and sense of like okay I'm making progress towards well what I really want to be so uh, then the final thing that I'll do is I'll reflect on my goals so I'll reflect on my five-year goals my three-year goals my one-year goals and so on so everything that I all my goals is written down I have it saved on my laptop I'll reflect on it every morning I have a visualization board where I kind of look at you know I pin down images that I want to be aware of what, what I want to accomplish it's basically again will give me more sense of being in control of where I want to be. As you go throughout your day you will basically uh, it will allow you to choose things that is in line with your goal and your vision which makes you more proactive and makes you more in control of your day. So all of these six things I guarantee you guys if you implement this right now you know even part of that you don't have to do the whole thing but implement at least three of this right now like do your meditation set your goals the night before or visualize who you want to be uh, and just really crystallize this every day your day will be so much better you'll be more in control of your day you have more clarity and you feel like when you go through your day you will start noticing more things that are in line with who you want to be you just feel so much better by yourself so guys this is my morning routine i hope you know it kind of helped you and it has helped me over the years and yeah thank you for watching